Hello, Storyteller. Storytelling Ron. I want to talk about crazy Christian nationalism. But I try to finish up <coughs> on this creature codex, and I'm having a really hard time for the Dark Ages setting. But, uh, I'm, oh my gosh, I'm like, uh, almost done. I got all these creatures and pagans and, see, and prehistoric medieval things and dinosaurs and cave folk and, uh, pagans and more pagans and creepy stuff and giants. And, of course, I realized I have to make a divisible by four for print. I gotta have these new pages and die. I had two more. I have two blank pages here. Just, uh, oh, he's just going. Interrupt him. From this. Uh, turn off. I can't hear it. It's, it's on the side. It's on the headphones. And I don't have my headphones on. All right. Uh, I want to talk about Christian nationalism now. <clears throat> And, um, I'm, I probably, I'm going to do another 5e, uh, D and D 5e clickbait women thing video here. I don't know, tomorrow or the next day or whatever, but I want to do this one. This one's kind of excited me <clears throat> and I appreciate all you guys commenting. <laughs> I'll probably go through the comments. Awesome. Yeah. Um, what are, let me just see. What are the negatives? The dislike. Let me, let me refresh. Check this out. Wow. Getting a ton of views. Dislikes, 61. Likes, 21. It's not bad for us Christians. It's not bad. It's not bad. In a pagan world, that's not bad. Okay. I just let you know. Okay. <clears throat> um, so this is awesome. This guy is a hardcore abolishing against um, abortion. Hopefully, you know, he'll stay strong. I'm pray for him. I'm, I'm grateful to men. This is what I mean. Church, we need to build, rebuild a church here in America. The church is freaking dead. I mean, you know, you guys, people are in the, I'm a pastor, John MacArthur church here in Grace Community church here in, um, California. And we fought California and Gavin Newsom and Juan, and, um, they embarrassed themselves and, hit, and ran away. Watch uh, the essential church. It's we did a documentary on, on, and I was there. I was there. I saw the, 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 the sad little tape papers they put on, on all around our church telling us how we were supposed to act in our own church, uh, during COVID. That's, that's Democrats and pagans for you. They went into our church and posted notices up on how we are supposed to act uh, in church, uh, worshiping our God. Okay, so this guy, this is what we need. We need, we need to rebuild the church, um, make men of virtue that go out and speak the word. And I don't want women to do it. I don't want women. Now, if women want to do it, fine. But I personally don't want women to do it. I know what women love and enjoy, and it ain't going out and doing this. But some do, and that's fine. Um, but... Anyway, um, so this guy's awesome Christian nationalist. Oh yeah, check it out. Even got lasers coming out of his eyes. Um, so this is what I want men to do: speak boldly. He got elected. Um, uh, open elections. That's what we we Christians believe in. That we we, we actually believe in open uh, above table elections, where may the best man win. And um, pagans, that's exactly what we believe. We don't believe in cheating. We don't believe in bearing false witness. We believe in inquiring, inquisitions. We believe in trials. Uh, and we believe, though, in creating laws. We don't believe in a mob mentality where you go after Jesus Christ and nail him to a cross um, and, and accuse him of false accusations. Um, we believe in um, actually a trial. Okay, so that, And, and you, guys, you guys criticize us for, tr for the witch trials, for the crusades, which a crusade was an open declaration of war, by the way. Um, against people who are attacking the pilgrims and were kicking, killing Christians all along the, the pilgrimage to Jerusalem. And think about that too. The pilgrimage back in the dark ages or the uh, 1000 AD, people took off a year or two of their life to go pay to, and had wealth. And this is tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people going to Jerusalem to see the birthplace of Jesus Christ. So they had to spend all the, gee, what, what all? Wretched, horrid Christ Christendom is that the Christians could take off a year or two of their life in a medieval times to go t on vacation. Wow. How oppressive can a Christian be? Anyway, so um, um, this is awesome. And check out these. Um, this, is, this is a great video. I, I love not to be. Appreciate you guys. Um, Set back down Christian nationalism is these are just funny memes here. Um, you're a Christian and want our nation to be Christian. So I'll call you a Christian nationalist. That is awesome, dude, dude. Did you know we're called Christian nationalists now? 
we Christians, you know, the word Christian comes from ridiculing us uh, in Roman times. They called it little Christians, little Christ. And we actually, oh yeah, that, that's perfect. They were actually trying to ridicule us. The cross, it, forget the forget the Easter bunny or the Christmas tree. The cross is the ultimate pagan symbol. It is humiliation naked in public, tort, dying in the most horrific, slow way where you're suffocating, hung up, di- naked, you're, you're, all, you're naked. I'm, I'm assuming Jesus Christ was actually naked when he was crucified. Um, naked in public and people walk by and ha ha ha. Pagans, you know, with their gladiator entertainment and enjoyment, watching people getting hung up, strung up along in the public on the cross. And we Christians, sure, we'll take it. That's our symbol. Your public humiliating torturous device is our symbol of hope and love in, in Christ. Um, the upside down cross is now what I see among Satanists and when I go to goth, goth clubs with the wife. And I see all these under uh, upside down crosses uh, amongst the, the patrons. And uh, they think, I, I guess they think it's insulting or something. Um, I really love it because uh, I, I, I know that the, the history is that Peter did not, Peter, an apostle, did not want to go the way of Christ, did crucified. He wasn't, didn't feel he was worthy. So he got crucified with an upside down cross. So I don't know. If this, I don't know if these God people think, the Satanists think they're insulting us, you know, I, I, I'm like, it's a, it's a, w- a great way for me to open up a, a discussion. Um, cause I think it's a wonderful symbol <laughs> actually. Okay. Uh, you know, we, when we create something, I'm just putting this on. Oh, this is awesome that, you know, all the Christmas songs now, um, they all have Christian nationalist type motifs in them in the, in the, in the words. So that's pretty cool. Um, so check out not to be, uh, this post here. Um, um, but I, Chris, we Christians believe in trials and inquisitions. We believe in creating a laws to do things. We, we don't want to just go out and mob attack you and, and end your witchery or whatever. We want to all to have a discussion and legislation and decide what is good and bad for, for the society around us. So we create a, a standard of that morality to then go out and I guess oppress you. Okay. I guess become white supremacist colonizers. But we believe in creating laws that we decide then are fair, you know, to to do things. And those obviously laws can change, you know, the, 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 you know, we, we have to apply uh, our the Christian morality in a worldly sense. And so we believe in legislation. We believe in elections. We believe in uh, and here, let me explain to you. And we believe in a republic. We don't believe in democracy. We believe in a republic. And let me explain to you what a republic is uh, right here. Uh, can you see it all on there? Anyway, this is a um, really cool Deuteronomy. You know, what is this? This is Exodus 18. Uh, when Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, visits him. Can I, can I sing all that? Let me, or if I can um, just resize this. Ah, where are we at? I lost the thing. Okay. I don't know what happened there. Uh, well, I kind of, okay, let's do it this way. All right. So, um, Right here, uh, Jethro advises Moses. The next day, Moses takes a seat to judge the people, and he stood around from morning until evening. When his father, let me read this like, when his father-in-law saw all that Moses was doing for the people, he asked, What is this that you are doing for the people? Why do you sit alone as judge with all the people standing around you from morning till evening? Because the people, let me see, how did Moses, I'm trying to do Charles that test, I don't remember. Because the people come to me to inquire of God, Moses replied. Whenever they have a dispute, it is brought to me to judge between one man and another, and I make known to them the statutes and laws of God. But Moses' father-in-law said to him, What you are doing is not good. Surely you and these people, with all your wear with you, so, surely you and these people with you will wear yourselves out, because the, ta- the task is too heavy for you. You cannot handle it alone. Now listen to me. I will give you some advice, and may God be with you. You must be the people's representative before God, and bring their causes to him. Teach them the statutes and laws, and show them the way to live and work they must do, and the work they must do. Furthermore, select capable men from among the people, yeah, men, God-fearing, trustworthy men, who are adverse to dishonest gain. See, adverse to dishonest gain. Appoint them over the people as leaders of thousands, of hundreds, of fifties, and of tens. That's a representative. 
government republic have these men judged the people at all times then they can bring you any major issue hmm but all minor cases they can judge on their own so that your load may be lightened as they share it with you if you follow this advice and God so directs you then you will be able to endure and all these people can go home in peace Moses listens to his father okay so he's describing a republic here and guess what this uh, the Bible was uh, translated to Greek around 5 600 AD or BC BC because there were so many Jews in Greece. There was actually, they, they, I read there was like more Jews who knew Greek than knew Hebrew at, at one point, on one period because of the, when they left Israel. Um, so this, so the member of the Greeks started a republic or a democracy and a republic. They started around 400 BC, 500 BC. This was, the, this was in Greece. So they, I know they, 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 they learned of this because, because Greek were pagans, you know, and they would listen and debate all kinds of religions and, and belief systems. Um, and they were open to that kind of stuff. So I know that they uh, understood this concept from, from the Bible. They say that democracy came from Greece, but who was living in Greece the whole time before democracy even was starting? Yeah, that's right. The Bible. Um, so there you are. Crazy pagans. Uh, and Christian nationalism um, fears. We're coming, man. We're waking up. I hope so. Um, the, I'm just, I don't know why I'm raging, raging stuff right now. We Christians need to wake up. We need to, Christian nationalism is fine by me. I don't care. Um, but it's, it's the rule of law. It's uh, morals, a, a moral standard that we all have to agree upon. And to me, Christianity is the best one. What if we Christian nationalists take back America from all, you know, from pagans or whatever? Well, are we coming after you? Well, I suppose you, you know, um, if you're wanting to groom children, yes, I guess we are coming after you. If you're wanting to sexualize children, yes, we're, we're coming after you. Uh, I mean, you know, we're going to create laws. We already have laws. We just actually right now, we actually have laws against that stuff, but they're not being enforced. Uh, the, the, the pagan Democrat party or whoever, the pagans are picking and choosing which laws to enforce. And that is by definition tyranny. That is by definition tyranny. Justice has to be blind and and to all in order for it to work. And it is not blind. It is being selective. So pagans are already, you guys are already in charge of the government right now. And you can see what's happening. It's selective um, enforcement of laws. And that is not how freedom works. Freedom works when all of us, including you pagans, have a voice, have a concern, have a say, and then we, then we vote on it. Then we vote on it. Is pedophilia okay? We vote on it. Um, now, we Christians will never accept pedophilia. So there's that. Uh, we, we, we do have a stop gap or a stop, a, you know, a wall that we uh, will stop at. But um, in the normal moral standards, we'll have certainly figuring out and implementing what to enforce, how harsh to enforce it, how fair to be, uh, compassionate to be. All that stuff needs to be worked out. <clears throat> in, uh, in application of God's law. And yes, the, and even in that Bible there, uh, Moses followed a law, God's statutes and laws, then to implement upon the people. He didn't just make it up willy-nilly or just decide for himself which laws to enforce. He had to um, comply with the statutes given to him by God. And that was very serious in the story, uh, in that in this setting. Um, so we Christian nationalists and some of us Christians are freaking retreating from that fra- phrase, but stop. The, 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 you, the pagans are going to constantly find some sort of, you know, scary word, white supremacist, fat, Christo-fascist. I don't know. They're going to keep using words all the time to, to make us defensive, be on the defense. When instead of being on the defense, just say uh, abortion is murder, homosexuality is a sin, um, grooming children is, is horrific and needs to be stopped immediately. Um, no to pedophilia, no to, no to discussing its possibilities in, 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 in a university. Um, uh, the, 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 the genocide, the claim of, um, uh, river to the sea for, uh, for the Muslim, whatever Hamas thing. No, that is not acceptable. That's calling for the murder of Jews that is not acceptable. So we have to know for Satanist, Satanist, um, stuff in, in the, in the, in the city halls. 
because Satanism is is a is not even a religion. It's a um, it's an it's an evil methodology, right? It's an evilness to destroy mankind, to control man, to exploit, sexually exploit, uh, be a tyrant over man. That's what Satanism is. It's a deception. So we should never accept it as a religion or as something. You know, it's ridiculous that we're accepting these things as uh, open end. You know. We need to be tolerant of slavery and evil and, and, and wickedness and just be tolerant of it. No, we don't need to be tolerant of it. We need to uh, subdue it. We can't get rid of evil. We cannot get rid of it as a as a form, but we can subdue it. You can subdue evil and stop it from being evil and get evil to instead just shrug along and grumble as opposed to uh, groom children, promote pedophilia, um, promote sexualized children, uh, sex trafficking... So today, everyone knows sex trafficking is huge. Well, here's another thing we also know. The church is at its weakest today. Correlation? Yes, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. There's a correlation. There's not enough men of virtue out there stopping this in the darkest corners and alleys across the world. Because we don't have men of virtue anymore. We just have paganism. And paganism is make it up as you go. You can be your own God. You don't have to listen to God. You don't have to listen to, you know, you don't have to be concerned about sins. You can just do whatever you want and call something a sin or not a sin and change it any way you want. That's paganism. That's child sex trafficking. That's um, all the horrible stuff. And um, if you don't believe in God because you think uh, he allows evil, maybe it's you that's the evil that he's allowing. You don't believe in God because he allows evil. Maybe it's you that it's the evil. He's allowing you. I mean, that's the hilarious part of all this. People that hate God because there's evil in the world then go out and do evil. Uh, sorry, I'm laughing. I'm chuckling at my uh, the irony of it. He is allowing us to exist. That's the evil. What we do to each other, how cruel we are to each other, um, lying to each other, slandering each other, um, exploiting each other sexually and otherwise. Um, he's allowing that evil. That's... God is long suffering. So he's allowing you for, you know, and you have a, an end point. Um, anyway. In the game of life, roll holy dice. 